Hi, I am Amit Lunkard. In this video, we discuss in detail about synthesis of phenylbenzoate from phenol. Let's begin with our today's practical synthesis of phenylbenzoate from phenol. Basic principle for this synthesis. This synthesis is based on the Scotton-Bowman reaction. Phenol when subjected to the Scotton-Bowman reaction first dissolves in the sodium hydroxide to give sodium phenoxide. Then this form sodium phenoxide undergoes benzoylation and gives phenyl benzoate. So the reaction for this synthesis is here is the phenol reacts with benzoyl chloride in presence of aqueous sodium hydroxide and gives phenyl benzoate. Loss of one sodium chloride and water molecule. Now next is the reaction mechanism. First step here is the phenol when reacts with sodium hydroxide it forms a sodium phenoxide with loss of one water molecule. Now in next step this forms sodium phenoxide reacts with benzoyl chloride. Here in benzoyl chloride it having a carbon double bond O and this chloride atom. So the more electronegativity of oxygen more electron cloud is towards this oxygen and due to that this carbon which are having less electron cloud and due to which the oxygen of sodium phenoxide which attracts towards this carbon and it forms the intermediate. This intermediate is unstable from that this chloride atom which gets removed with the bonding electron and this Na plus there is loss of this and combinedly there is loss of sodium chloride and this oxygen which are having more electron which forms a bond between this carbon and oxygen. So there is the formation of double bond and form compound is phenyl benzoate. So here is the very simple mechanism of reaction for this synthesis and uh, this Cotton Bowman method of benzoylation. Next one is the procedure. For that, you have to take a wide mouth bottle or iodine flask. You have to dissolve 1 gram of phenol in 15 ml of 10% sodium hydroxide solution, then add 2 ml of benzoyl chloride, cork the bottle and shake the mixture vigorously for 15 minutes. At the end of this time, the reaction should be complete and solid product obtained. So you have to just filter off the solid ester and breaking up any lumps which get formed on the filter with spatula and then wash thoroughly with water and drain. After that, just recrystallize the crude ester from ethanol take its weight and physical constant that is melting point. Now next is the about calculation of theoretical yield. For that you have to draw the structure of phenol which is your reactant and product that is phenylbenzoate. Then write down its molecular formula and calculate the molecular weight. So this indicate that 94 gram of phenol gives 198 gram of phenylbenzoate. So 1 gram of phenol gives how much of phenylbenzoate? Just make a cross multiplication and whatever the value comes which is your theoretical yield. Then next is the calculation of percent practical yield. So you, after you have taken the weight of your product suppose which is 1.8 gram and your theoretical yield is 2.1 gram. So you have to use this formula percent practical yield is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100 put up the values and you will get the percent practical yield. After that you have to just write down the result. You have to write the your product name phenylbenzoate then its structure molecular formula, molecular weight, theoretical yield, practical yield, percent practical yield, its physical constant that is melting point with standard. So you have to write down observed melting point as well as the standard 
and use. This phenylbenzoate which is used to treat scabies and lice. So here we uh, discuss the synthesis of phenylbenzoate from phenol. Hope all of you getting this. Thank you and happy learning.